Hello everybody, Washoot here, and welcome to the very end of Pocket Mirror! Oh my god, I love this game so fucking much. But at the same time, they technically have this little bonus room that you can unlock with pumpkin charms, and I had 98 of them! Which means that I can unlock uh, quite a bit of this, but I might have to do the little cheatsy doodle thing where you save and restart uh, when I can't afford any more, though. So, let's start with- let's go from beginning to end. Let's start with our friend here. Goldia. Let's do it. Yes. Okay. Look at my little pixel art person. Okay. Oh. Oops. Okay, let me see. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're a pumpkin. Oh, we're a pumpkin now. Why are we a pumpkin? That's fucked up. Oh, did I just leave? All right. Here we go, pumpkin. You and me. Me and you against the world, baby. What we got? What we got going on? The painting of a young girl crying by a river. Her clothes immaculate and pristine. Oh, they're gonna be careful not to give me any pumpkin charms this time. Why are we a pumpkin? That's all fucked up. Hello. Oh! Goldia. Goldia. Likes. Something. Chamomile tea. Color red. Puns. Carousel. Dislikes. Dark places. Fly fights. Oh, fights. Lies. Rudences. Character fact. The name Goldia is from an ancient North European origin, meaning good life. Oh. Hello there, Mr. Pumpkin. It sure is peaceful here, isn't it? Yeah, fairly. I like this place. It brings me good memories. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm getting carried away. That's okay, I forgive you. But you know, Mr. Pumpkin, it feels good to be able to speak freely like this. Although I may not have much to say like Fleta and Eagliet, or advice to give like Harpe, or Angel's determination and confidence. Even Lizette's honesty. I feel like I am able to grow at my own pace. These are all memories I want to keep close to me. And this time I feel like I'm ready to do so. Hell yeah. Good for you. I like that character. I like that character a lot. They really grew on me throughout the series. I also really liked Lizette's character after we got to know her. So is this... Is this Goldia's house? I don't think so. Oh, let's go this way. Gotta go this way this time. And... It's still nothing. Hmm. Oops, I keep- sorry, I keep clicking left and right. Not you. Okay, this. Hell yeah! Oh, what the fuck just happened? Um... Platinum. What? Who is this? I don't understand what just happened. Is this... a character? Did- why- we never met this character. What's the deal? I don't understand. <laughs> okay! Alright.
interesting. I remember that. Okay, what about you? Oh. What? We gonna come back here? Hello. Oh, Flatta. Likes candy, pink games, Igliette taking naps, stargazing. Dislikes Pumpkin King. Toulouse, disobedience and liars. Valetta doesn't actually like to read. So she asks Igliette to read all of the books for her. Really, that's adorable. There you are! It sure took you long enough or a long time to come visit me. I know. I'm sorry, Fleta. You barely even got here and now you're already apologizing. Because I promised I would visit you. And you have. No, stop whining. Let's play hide and seek again. I was going to ask if you wanted to play a yay with me, but you ruined everything. Aw, oh, damn it. Well then, would you like to play with me? What do you think you're doing? Asking if you want to play with me. You're the one who has to play with me, not the other way around. Is it the same thing? No! Flatta, I have to be the one to ask you. What? <laughs> but why? Because Igliette said I should ask you instead of making you play with me. <laughs> Is that so? Why don't you give it another try? Do you want to play with me? Of course, Fleta. That's why I'm here. <laughs> what do you want to do then? Whatever you'd like. I'm asking you. Oh, um... You don't have to make that face. Do you got like a Nintendo 64? Is it that weird with, uh, that I'm asking you this? Not at all. I'm just not used to you being this nice to me. Well, but I'm trying. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Thank you, Fleta. Humph. Okay, what if we talk to her again? Igliette has been talking about you a lot lately. She has? Uh, hum. She said she misses you. That's unexpected. What's so unexpected about that? She just missed you because you took so long. And just so you know, she's also jealous. Jealous? Poor Igliette likes you a bit too much. <laughs> is that so? Yes, it is so. I missed Igliette too. Well, I didn't miss you in the least. Oh, what a... Not even a bit. This is no laughing matter. I missed you too, Fleta. That's adorable. Don't you ever get tired of having such long hair? Not really. But it's so long, doesn't it get in the way? I would cut it if I were you. I've always had it like this, so I think I'm used to it. Have you always had short hair, Fleta? Always. <laughs> I think it suits you. Of course it does. <laughs> I mean... I think so too. Really? Fascinating. Just so you know, I think your eyes are pretty. Huh? Don't look so surprised. I'm giving you a compliment. Ready? They're pink! And you know I like pink. Oh! What are you laughing at? Thank you, Fleta. You're really nice. Humph. Oh, that's adorable. Pumpkin? Corner, corner the girl! Hmm. Secrets? Secrets. Man, wh what I would do for a couple more pumpkin charms right now. Igliat, what? Likes, dinner parties, elegant talks. Cookie cups? The waltz. Haha, <laughs> cookie cups, I remember that. Dislikes, wrong answers, tantrums, pumpkin humor. Queen Igliat continuously allows Fleta to win all of their games in order to avoid triggering tantrums. Ready? It has been a while, hasn't it, little miss? Queen Igliat! It sure has. It's good to see you've turned that frown of yours upside down. Yeah, it was quite a, quite a lot of work, though. I'm rather fond of smart girls like yourself. Perhaps you'd like to work for me as a servant. Uh, no. 
A joke. Oh, I see. Ha ha ha! Your sense of humor seems to need a bit of work, don't you think? I do like jokes. The pumpkins have some good ones. The pumpkins, you say. Do you not like them, Queen Eagliette? They're always sounded a bit idiotic for my taste. Not at all. Come with me, I'll show you. Hello, Mr. Pumpkin. Why, hello there, Miss. Queen Igliette. We have a special request for you, Mr. Pumpkin. A request? For me? You see, Queen Igliette would like to hear a joke. A joke? Yes, don't you have any you could tell us? Of course, anything for Queen Igliette. Here I go. Have you, you ever tried eat a clock? Is that part of the joke, miss? I don't think so. Mr. Pumpkin is probably just nervous. Anyway, have you ever tried to eat a clock, Queen Igliette? Of course not. Why would I ever do such an idiotic thing? That's, uh... It's very time-consuming. Very time-consuming indeed. Here, Pumpkin. You can have this candy cane. Thank you so much, Queen Igliette. Say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Hum. You're a very kind person, miss. <laughs> Not as fitting to be a queen as yourself. Indeed. Okay. May I ask you a question? Haven't you already? Ah, I'm sorry. It was a joke. Igliette, your jokes are not funny. You just sound like you're being sarcastic. Oh, I see. So, what did you want to ask me? Are there any more dolls around? Specifically dolls that look like you. I seem to know the issue you're trying to address, miss. You're trying to ask me how Flutter is always carrying me around, even when I'm not present. Isn't that right? Yes. There is actually an agreement between Fleta and I. An agreement? How would you feel being carried around all day by a demanding girl such as Fleta? Ah, uh, my stomach would feel sick probably. Exactly. That is why we have agreed she would only carry me whenever I felt like it. Then who are all the other dolls? They're stuffed toys that look exactly like me. Oh, I see. I would have never guessed. Huh. May I ask you another question? If it's not too much trouble. You sure like to pester me, don't you? Well, you're part of the secret room, so deal with it. Oh, is that a joke too? It's not. Oh, I'm sorry. Queen Igliette. I really didn't mean to be a bother. Teasing you is truly interesting, little miss. Tell me, what is it you'd like to know? I was wondering who the ruler of your kingdom really is. Both Fleta and I govern the world of ours. Although I am the queen. I thought Fleta would prefer to be the queen. She says limitless fun gets boring after a set period of time. That's why she appointed me as the queen. So that I can help her run the queen, er, help her with the kingdom. I see. Fleta holds you in high regards, miss. I would like you to preserve the friendship you forged with her. Of course. Yeah, let's not. I'm going to forget about her immediately. Oh, okay. And that's it. Thank you. Awesome. Um, nothing that way. Nothing up there. Probably up there is when we're done. What? We can go behind the pumpkin now. The pumpkin doesn't have collision anymore. Okay. Best secret room ever. All right. What about heart base? Hey, what's up? Oh, dang it, I'm sorry, I keep doing the... Oh. I wonder what the deal is with Harpe. Hello? Oh. Are you just on your bed? I didn't realize at first this was a bed, by the way. Harpe likes rose tea. 
Goldia, literature music rules. Dislikes. Untidiness. Rudeness. Adults crowds. Ready, you hate adults? I thought you were one. Character fact. Harpy knows the location of every belonging as long as she can remember its existence. Wow. That's actually pretty legit. Good evening, miss. Harpe! Come, give me your hand. <laughs> I'm happy to see you. You seem to be doing well, my girl. You too, Harpe. I have to apologize to you, miss. Apologize? For what? I have underestimated you in the past. You are more capable than I initially thought. There was no need for me to be so harsh. And for that, I apologize. Don't be silly, Harpe. Silly? There's no need to apologize. You helped me, even if it was in your own way. But I... But you? All I ended up doing was press my own frustrations onto you. You did. But that's assuming I was the only one who needed a friend, Harpe. <laughs> right. You're right, miss. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It seems I have plenty of free time on my hands now. Because you don't have to worry about me all the time. No, because the game's over. Yes. I've always been so focused on taking care of you. I've almost forgotten about myself. Would you let me do the same for you? Do what? Take care of you. Things like brushing your hair and keeping you company. You truly are kind, my girl. It's not kindness, Harpe. It's called wanting to be your friend. Thank you. <laughs> Harpe? Yes? Would you read me a story sometime? Of course. You know Harpe. I've been meaning to ask you something, but I don't want to bother you. Go ahead, my girl. You're blind, aren't you? That is the choice I have made. A choice? I'm sure you'll understand in time. Thank you, Harpe. <laughs> wow, didn't even notice. The whole time, Harpy was blind. I mean, was there any reason for us to suspect that? I mean, she could move around in the dark pretty easily. I guess that's one thing. She, her hairbrush, she didn't have like that cane though to be able to see. But I guess it wouldn't matter in your own home. You could just memorize where things are. Were there hints the whole time? And I didn't, didn't realize. Maybe that's why she was so freaking frightened when the elevator fell was because it was kind of out of her pattern, so to speak. Huh, that's really interesting. Is there a way to leave here? Or do we have to exit the area and come back? I have to look around. I have to, I have to see. Calm down. Um. No. Nope. Okay, well, fine. That's, that's okay. Okay with that. Wonder what she meant by, it's my choice to be blind. I'm not really too sure about that one.
All right, what about Lizette? Okay. How about this time I don't walk backwards and immediately leave the area? That'd be great. God, the background of this area must have taken so long to do. With the cool parallaxing and stuff. Okay. Oh, you're alive this time. How good. Lizette likes flowers, white color, Goldia dislikes jokes, pink color, dark places, crying. Lizette rids herself of impure feelings by casting them onto mirror reflections. Her real self rests locked away. Lizette, are you looking at the moon? May I keep you company for a little while? Yes. <laughs> the moon really is bright. I like it. Me too. Do you usually stay here like this? Yes. I like it here. It's peaceful. I see. Maybe I'm bothering you. I'll leave if you want me to. No. It's fine. <laughs> Lizette. Can I come visit you like this once in a while? You can. Thank you. <laughs> Lizette, I was meaning to ask you. Would you like me to brush your hair sometime? Why? Well, uh... I like it, actually. You do have pretty hair, let's be honest. I was thinking we could spend more time together, too. Go for walks or have some tea together. Would you like that? I think so. Thank you, Lizette. Can we brush your hair right now? Oh, we don't have, we don't have a menu. Huh? What is it, Lizette? Lizette? I still resent you. Yes, I know. I'm sorry, Lizette. But... You're keeping your word... on wanting to know me. I am. I want to be closer to you, Lizette. Goldia. Yes, Lizette? I'll be waiting. For you. Thank you, Lizette. You're gonna be waiting? What? What do you mean you're gonna be waiting? What do you mean you're gonna be waiting? What? What? What do you mean you're gonna be waiting? Okay, oh, I guess I'm just gonna auto walk down. Awesome. I like her character a lot. I don't know why. I liked Vlad's character a little bit. I liked Harpy's character, but... And I liked our main character, too, but I don't know why. I just really liked Lizette's character. Learning about her was... It was one of those things where it's like, once you kind of learned a little bit more of the truth, the entire character kind of changed. A very lovable character, at least.
Such a sad movie. What about you? Oh, on the moon again, great, perfect. Likes pumpkin pie, Earl Grey tea, gold color, question marks? Dislikes question marks, oh, Goldia. Mirrors, pumpkins, lies, oh, maybe it's the name of that person that we don't know yet. The outside world fascinates Angel. Her wish to be able to ride a carousel one day, especially the one with the horses. Maybe, probably, especially. Let's be honest. Um, are we, can we talk more? Are we just gonna go through the magical moon ride again? Oh, great! You're here! Angel, looking a lot more cheerful, aren't you? I guess so, probably because I lived. It's good to see you in a better mood. You should have come by sooner. I missed your company, Angel. We should have some tea together. Yes. You know, you're not as stupid as I thought. Now that I think about it, I don't really know you. But I would like to spend more time with you. Me too, Angel. I'd like you to tell me more about that carousel thing. The one with the horses. All right, well, it's very fun. Kind of like this swing we're on right now. Is this fun? Isn't it? I guess so. <laughs> what other things are there? Let's see. There are parks. We could have a picnic under a big tree. What's a picnic? It's when you have a meal outside in parks and gardens. You can lie down on the grass and eat all day. That sounds nice, doesn't it? You sure know a lot of things, I guess. Would you tell me more about the things I don't know? I like to hear you talk about them. Of course, Angel. You can ask me anything. Anything, huh? I can ask you anything. What would you ask them? I don't know. What's your favorite color? Oh, you already know it's pink. Okay, thanks. Wow, great. Just delivering me back. What the fuck? Oh, excuse me? Why is there a giant? The moon's a permanent fixture now. Great. Awesome. Perfect. Thanks. Alrighty, in time for the one we've all been waiting for. And what is your deal? Hmm. Oh. Oh, we're a pumpkin! How do we get on there? Hello. 
Oh, theater shows, pumpkins, dark humor. Dislikes impertinent munters. Poor munters, stupid munters. This strange boy takes contracts very seriously and will not hesitate to charge his price regardless of the circumstances. His familiars take the shape of pumpkins. Really? Look who's come to visit. How did you like my explosive show? <laughs> Too bad I'm not giving out any autographs. You'll have to make a deal with me if you want one. <laughs> Be sure to watch my next show. Now that one's going to be a blast. <laughs> Is there going to be a next show? Now scram! What? What? They just put, they put, kicked me all the way out of the whole game? Little picture frame back there. Oh, it's the credits. What's this? Oh, it's the letters. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Can we go up now? That picture frame, that picture frame turned a different color. Oh my God, so hard to click. Nope, I, I can't figure out a way to click it. Yeah, I, I don't think there's a way to click it. Well, everybody, I guess this is the last time that we're going to be meeting together for Pocket Mirror. I really, really like this game. I mean, I followed it for years. I played that demo back all the way, gosh, more than two years ago I played it, and I've been looking forward to playing it ever since. I can honestly say that this is by far one of the most well-done pixel... 
what, what would you say? RPG Maker games I think I've ever played. The story was great. You know, the art was great. The art, actually, the art was phenomenal. All right. <laughs> it's trying to insert the marble. Sure, why not? And then it'll open. Perfect. Thank you, but we're not. We already know what's going to happen uh, down there. It's a little Igliette room thing. What the hell was I saying? So I really look forward to any future games that come up by this team. I will definitely play it, but it's not going to be anytime soon if they're going to be coming out with another one. Clearly, it took like two years last time. But you know what? I have a feeling that if they were to make another game, and I do think that the team liked working together. I, I don't think it was like a necessarily guaranteed to be a one and done kind of a deal, but I wonder what kind of things they're going to bring to the table because this was total it was very Alice in Wonderland-esque for sure and I but I liked its inspirations because they had to deal with stories and stuff like that but I might do one more video where I discuss the game a little bit more in depth if that is something that you guys necessarily want to see because there were definitely some questions kind of another maybe a wash who explains kind of video but I would I would need a while to be able to prepare that kind of thing it's not going to come out right away because I would have to do some serious studying there were a lot of themes and symbols that kind of went under the radar with this one so until then, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next series.